Is you guys, hey, thank y'all so much for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. I'm out to be chilling inside since, you know, we got the end of the world is happening outside, you know. Ain't trying to jump into it. But I did end up getting the fresh fade. Shout out Chase Brooks. Um, I'll put his uh, little handle here. Follow him on Instagram. Book an appointment if you live in the DFW area. My boy do clean. He do work with the razor. You know what I'm saying? Um, man, this shit's kind of depressing, bro. It's crazy. Can't even can't even dap up your homies and shit, man. Like you gotta hit them with the bow. Like it's good, bro. It's good, man. Like sheesh. Bars and stuff is closed. Thank goodness I got me some whiskey. Johnny Walker Black Label, I recommend all of you gentlemen out there to drink that stuff. You know, I think it's better than Hennessy, just being honest. I think a lot of things are better than Hennessy. I'm not your regular nigga, as you can tell. You know, I'm Shan and shit. But anyways, y'all, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um... I wanted to go into how to stay and watch your way while you sitting inside all day because I know a lot of y'all watching Netflix or Hulu or playing NBA 2K20 or some shit like that. So one thing I do is I make sure I drink one of these a day. All right. So protein shake. This is Domitized Hydrolyzed Protein. So I'm supposed to do it after. I'm supposed to. It's better when you drink it after you do a workout and stuff like that. I also got another protein. I drink a lot of protein shakes. That'll be good for the supplemental meal instead of just sitting at in your desk or sitting at wherever you're at, munching on Doritos and, and Takis all damn day. You know what I'm saying? You want to eat some, some drink, drink that. Then you won't, you'll be good for another two, three hours or something like that, right? Get some apples, get some fruits. You know, I, I do that. I'm going to tell y'all, I struggle with weight. I remember I was in seventh grade changing for football or uh, changing for PE. Not even I didn't even I didn't even decide to do football yet. But this is what led me to do football. To be honest with you, I ain't no shit about football when I started playing football. I just knew that I I, I didn't want to be fat. So I was changed. I took my shirt off, and you know me and my homies we were talking, and then one of my friends he was like, "Damn, Rob, you got some man titties, bro. You need to do some push-ups, bro." Everybody was looking and shit, man. It made me so bro. I wanted to bust that nigga's lip open. I swear with my elbow, bah. Like, nigga, what? Are you, you know, and people was looking at me like, he got your ass, nigga, like, I mean, shit. So I was like, fuck. But I tell you, I went home and I did two push-ups. I kept doing push-ups every day until it changed me. And then I remember I was hitting 185 when I was in, like, fucking eighth, ninth grade. I was benching 185 and shit, bro. I was a beast. You know what I'm saying? So... I've, I had struggled. I struggled with weight up until I was like 14, 15. So I have a little bit to say in it. And it wasn't just because I had baby fat. I was also eating like poo-poo, poo-poo. I eat hella cookies. I love chocolate chip cookies. I love pizza. I love Chipotle. I love Doritos and nachos. I love all that stuff. But that my, my stomach don't love it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit over here doing the gymnastics and stuff, flipping and you can hear it from across the room. You hear it growl. It's like, yeah, it's all... Uh, Damn, you must have had nachos today, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I did. You know. So, I also try to think about it like this. Like, I'm, I am hate it when diets and, and, and fitness trainers and stuff try to like, oh, just just stop eating carbs altogether. Stop doing it. It's not, it's not sustainable. I'm, I'm about sustainability here, right? When you're going, when you're trying to, when you're talking about, especially when you're someone who used to eat hella bad and then you're trying to just, do an entire 180 and eat nothing but unseasoned chicken breast and fucking rice with nothing on it. You know what I'm saying? That's the, you're only going to do it for like a week or two, maybe a month. And then you're going to go right back. Old habits are going to start creeping in. And then you're just like, oh, shit, fuck it. You need to work with it, right? You need to work with your bad vices. If you love ice cream, if you love donuts, if you got to have that chocolate eclair, you need to make sure you have it once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Or... That Jekyll, that that Jekyll right there, you know, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, that Mr. Hyde is going to come out, you know, then you're going to turn into a, a clear monster, you know what I'm saying? So you got to work with it. Have two to three days eating very good, and then maybe the fourth day, eat that chocolate clear, right? Go another two, three, four days eating healthy, and then eat that chocolate clear. People talk about have one cheat, cheat day a week. That doesn't work for me, right? It may take longer to get 
to the place that you're getting to, but I promise you, you're making baby steps. Baby steps add up over time. You know what I'm saying? So if you eat a fucking chocolate eclair every fucking two days, you know, a honey bun every two days, and you get that Mountain Dew or the Arizona tea with that shit, you need to make sure you limit that to maybe every other day. Or if you already do it every other day, every three days, okay? And then work up to the point where it's every four days, right? And then work up to every five days. You know what I'm saying? You got to work slowly. You can't just do cut all that shit cold turkey. It's not sustainable. I know. I'm a, I used to be a fat boy, and I can eat like a fat boy. But with the help of protein shakes, creatine, and working out, and a different mindset on how you look at food and what it's doing to your body, I'm able to not only grow muscle, but I'm slimming down. One way that I see it is that, especially when I'm working out, I don't go into why, how I work out and stuff like that, but building muscle will help you burn fat. I'm aiming at building more muscle so that I can burn fat easier. Muscle burns more fat, right? So it takes up more calories to you to move muscle than it does to move fat. Anyways, so, all right. So another thing that I do, a third thing that I do is I think of my perspective with the food. I think about what it is that I'm eating is what's fueling me. It is almost quite literally you are what you eat, right? This is where I draw in on those people that talk about crystals and energy and shit. You know, y'all think they wacky and shit like that. And some of them are. Some of them are. But one thing that they do talk about is like, oh, the creatures are made, uh, the plants are made from the sun. They're pure. They're, you know, they have all the nutrients of Gaia. It's going to feed you. Into, and, you know, they're, they're kind of right, honestly. I eat an apple or I'll eat like some fruit. And I'll be full for maybe an hour or so, but I feel good. I feel light, you know? I eat a lot of what I eat is I make my own little concoction of healthy foods. I put sweet potatoes, rice, beans. I'll put some ch some chicken in there. You know, I'll also get some peppers, and I love asparagus. And when I eat all that stuff, compared to Popeye's crispy chicken sandwich with extra mayo on there, or uh, number two Chick-fil-A deluxe, with Polynesian sauce and Chick-fil-A sauce on the side, the meal with the waffle fries, and I get a chocolate chip cookie with it, I feel, you know, it's a, it's a difference. I feel different when I eat those two things. Pay attention to how you feel when it. Drinking tea compared to drinking soda to drinking liquor, right? I know you're probably like, how is this shit related? But think about it. The first time you had a beer or the first time you had a liquor, it was disgusting. It's like, what the fuck? Why did Nick, adults drink this shit? So I ended up asking one of my friends, I was like, bro, how you drink beer? How, like, what's the point of drinking liquor? This shit tastes like ass. You know, my friend Dylan Matthews, he was like, bro, you don't drink it for the taste. You drink it for the the way it makes you feel. He was serious. I was like, oh, shit. Damn. Really? Bl mind blowing. Now, look at us. We drinking shit. Sit, taste bitter as fuck. Vodka with cranberry tastes bitter as fuck. But we've gotten a, it's a, it's a, a custom taste. You know, it now tastes kind of good. Vodka and cranberry, that's tart and bitter as fuck. Even with even on the rocks. Okay? But now we say it's good. Now it's like soda. Soda tastes good, right? But how does it make you feel? Right? When I drink tea and coffee versus coffee, I drink coffee and I feel sluggish after a fucking hour. I feel good for a good hour, but then I gotta put more sugar in it, then I gotta put more cream, cause it tastes like shit. So it tastes like shit and it makes you feel like shit. Why the fuck you drink coffee? When you can drink some tea, I got some green tea, it may taste bitter, but I feel amazing and I don't get a crash from it. Not only that, but it's got antioxidants. I drink, this is the green tea I drink right here. This shit is magic, I swear. It gives you more energy and longer energy than coffee does. Then you don't have the crash with it. And it supports your immune system. And you get antioxidants. You, you went on all fronts as opposed to drinking coffee that tastes like sewer water. And then you got to put hella sugar in it. And then the sweet soup like sewer water, right? Like it's, you know what I'm saying? You may think about that with tea, but nigga tea's better anyways. Yeah, so, oh, do a couple push-ups and sit-ups. If you're playing video games or some shit, man, between loading screens, between matches, do some fucking push-ups. You know what I'm saying? Look, run. You know what I'm saying? This this also will keep this coronavirus shit away from you. You know what I'm saying? Keeping your body intact. 
keeping yourself in, you know what I'm saying? When I run, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm out running and shit, like on a treadmill, I get all, I burping and farting all on the motherfucking treadmill. Because it's, it's moving the gases in my stomach and stuff like that, you know? Not only, so you can move up gases, it's, it's, ex, I'm ex, excrementing, not like actually shitting, but I'm like releasing all the, like, waste in my body. You know, that's what gas is. It's like built up waste from the digestive uh, contractions and shit that you got going on. So when you're running, run in place for a little bit. Do some mountain climbers. You know what I'm saying? Do some push-ups. You know what I'm saying? Jumping jacks. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Just do something. 20 minutes, 30. I, I try to do about an hour of it a day, right? That's how you're going to stay away from it because I even got a little thing of chocolate, chi chocolate chips. I'm eating chocolate chips. Dark chocolate, cause I don't have, I, I I don't want to eat a whole dozen of cookies. I'm supplementing. I'm working with myself, right? You are gonna feel like shit if you eat that whole box of pizza, but you're gonna you, you know, but that that fat side of you is gonna feel happy. So go half half. Eat half the fucking pizza. Work with that hide, and then also appease Doctor Jekyll by eating. A salad with it. Eat good with it. Don't just quit cold turkey with the shit. You got to work with yourself, man. Work with yourself. And then you'll work up to that point. People always want to sell the dream like, oh, you can go from A to B. Some people can. I'm not saying you shouldn't do that, but I'm saying you should work with yourself. Work with the schedule that works for yourself while aiming towards that. You know what I'm saying? Work with your current person, who you are. It's going to take a fucking, a lot of steps, right? All right, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. If you can't, if you can't share the video, fucking at least like it. At least, at least do that. You know what I'm saying? Gives me motivation. Helps me to do what I do. You know, I keep coming with it. I love hearing stuff. People like, hey, y'all, I watch your shit. Yeah, I like what you do. Y'all like what you doing, man. I mean, you know, I fuck with it. So.